there's an actual science of human desire and emotion out there. And I'm a science nerd. Uh, and I found myself addicted to reading these studies and telling my buddies about it. And I'd meet them at the bar where we drink, and I'd be like, did you know that your girlfriend is more likely to cheat when she ovulates? And they were like, all right, Quirk, chill out. <laughs> Have a beer. And I was like, did you know that your sperm use teamwork? <laughs> and they were like, all right, now you're weirding me out. Have a beer and shut up. Then I'd be like, did you know that if men drink enough alcohol, they lactate? <laughs> that got their attention. <laughs> Ladies, every guy in this room is thinking the exact same thing. Sex is fun, especially when it's with somebody else. <laughs> so, why don't women give it away indiscriminately to every guy who hits on them? <laughs> and guys, women have a question for you. If committed love is the deepest human need, why are guys so terrified of it? Well, it's not the way we're raised. It's biology. Sperm spreaders and egg protectors have inherited different emotions from evolution. Millions of years of competition to pass on your genes by getting pregnant or by getting someone else pregnant has led to the evolution of two different systems of emotions in all mammals. And that's why everyone in this room has at some point looked at the opposite sex and said, what is wrong with them? <laughs> There's something weird about them. It's almost as if they're from another species. Well, I have some bad news. Um, if you count up our three billion DNA units, humans and chimps are about 1.5% different men and women are about 1.5% different. <laughs> when you kiss a member of the opposite sex, you might as well be making out with a chimp. <laughs> men evolved to fall in love and commit. But there's a problem. <laughs> Did you hear that? In that last heartbeat, I just produced a thousand sperm. <laughs> every guy in this room, wait, you, you guys are young guys. Two thousand every heartbeat. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Say it with me, guys. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Two thousand, four thousand, six thousand. Sperm are like nothing to us. We don't produce one egg a month. We're popping these puppies out like they're nothing. Biologist R.V. Short drew out another graph and showed that in any mammal, the more the female cheats, the larger the male's testicles. Why? It's all about sperm competition inside the females. What did you guys think? I liked it a lot. It was informative. Was it what you were expecting? Yeah. yeah. It was a lot more interesting, actually, than I thought it'd be. Like, he really got to like the college students, watch all the dorm references. The, the way, you'd say the way he presented it was really good, right? Oh, yeah. It wasn't like, this is the audible, this is how they, like, no. It was like down to earth, it was realistic. It was entertaining. It was really entertaining. So it, were he your professor, would you take his class? Oh, yeah. yeah. And my college major is psychology. Okay. So a lot of what he talked about ties into your major. You probably have heard a lot of this stuff before. You've taken class in evolution. Do you think this guy's for real? Did he know what he was talking about? I think that he has a pretty uh, good idea what he's talking about. I, at first, I thought he was going to be kind of like all full of shit, and I was going <laughs> to, I was going to ask him about that and, and make sure that he's uh, talking, you know, more from a scientific background. And he, sh he showed that he pretty much knew what he's talking about. Right.